Before we get into this video, I just want to say that this is not a comprehensive hidden hideout guide by any means. There are lots out there. You could probably search up like five instantly and take your pick, watch any of them. This is just going to be a comparison between normal hidden hideout and the solo challenge version that apparently is suddenly available which I don't think it actually was on the Gameforge server. So first of all, how do you get into Hidden Hideout Solo Challenge? It's very simple. You go to the Gruton and you buy the ticket from the Gruton for 50,000 gold and waste your money and go in and torture yourself and get nothing out the other side. That's it. So without further ado, let's see how these game modes are different. So what are the similarities between normal and solo challenge, then basically the vast majority of things. The boss has the same seven moves and two of them, which is the rays and uplift, so the trucks and the tornado, are available from 80 bars onwards. That is completely the same as normal in and hideout. And now that's out of the way, what's different? So the major difference is that Instead of three phase changes at 80, 15, 20 HP bars, the boss only has two. And these happen at 70 and 30. The skill blocks is also the same. So solo 70 phase change is the same skill blocks as normal 80 phase change. And solo 30 phase change is the same skill block as normal 50 phase change. Normal 20, where it combines the skill blocks of 80 and 50, doesn't exist. The second difference is the duration of the phase change. So in normal mode, when he phase changes at 80, 50, 20, an extra portal opens, and somebody has to go into this extra portal and hit the agony orbs into the middle crystal, and destroy the middle crystal to remove the skill block. In solo challenge mode, the phase change skill block lasts for a fixed 10 HP bars. So it will last from 70 to 60 and 30 to 20. I think that's basically it for all the differences. Um, I'm just going to end off with this um, footage of me getting an extended drop from uh, one of my runs today from normal mode because solo challenge doesn't drop squat as of me recording this the only reason it exists is just to practice some of the moves and if you want to flex your solo ranking 